Here is a Milton B style cupper that I purchased recently and I tested it and it failed almost immediately when the uh, center poppet uh, stuck in the open position. You can see, if you look down in there, you can see light right through it. And then you can see, look up in there, you can see the uh, inlet side, and you can see how it's shifted off center. I'm going to take it apart and explain exactly why I think this is probably one of the worst coupling designs I've ever seen by far. Okay, I've uh, unscrewed it and just removed the balls. And here it is. Let's just take the uh, Start taking it apart. Let's see, let's start here with the inlet section. And let's remove the locking collar and spring. And uh, let's see, let's now try to remove the poppet. I will push a plug in, push the puppet out. Okay, there we go. What remains inside is a half inch diameter rubber o ring, which I will talk about shortly. Here's this little odd looking poppet assembly where this thing kicks off center. What happened is basically this little poppet shifts off center. It's a very, very stiff spring in this thing. And it gets off here like that. Very clever, not? Whoops, uh, hold on, I just dropped the plug. Okay, got the plug. Interesting thing about this thing, which I find rather bizarre. I can't believe how, I'm puzzled by how it can be that bad. Anyway, uh, the uh, O-ring in here is what's interesting. Inside here, what pushes against this poppet is nothing but the O-ring. And the O-ring is riding in this bore this bore is half inch diameter. So what that means is that the air pressure coming in is pressing against this full aperture of one half inch. Unnecessarily so, I might add. And uh, so let me uh, see if I can get the O-ring out here. Let's try to push it out. Let's uh, grab something to push it out with. Uh, take a drill bit and push it out. There it is. It's appear to be about a 332nd cross section, one half inch OD O-ring. And the way it works is the O-ring is all is contacting this face of the poppet. And then the plug is pushing directly against the rubber O-ring. That's what makes the seal so basically the rubber is trapped between the face of the poppet and the face of the plug and guess what happens when you push them together under force the o-ring expands into the bore right into this uh, uh, brass bore Let's see where is it okay right here so this o-ring is inside here and when you insert the plug this little thing here, this little bushing. Uh, this goes through this bushing which holds the plug centrally in the half inch bore and then it goes through like so, presses against the o-ring and you insert it, obviously you push this thing so as you compress it, try to push the plug into the coupling, guess what happens? 
poppet comes out, may or may not stay central and might walk off center, which it often does. And as you do this, as the force goes up, as you can press the spring and open the valve, all the inlet air pressure shows up on this half inch diameter O-ring, which is now being pressed outward into the bore with a lot of force. The problem with that is, one of the many problems with that is as the O-ring is forced outward into the bore, it gets very tight, generating a lot of friction. And that friction is a major cause of the extremely high force it required to connect the Milton V. This is completely absurd in my opinion, a very, very poor design. So it has all kinds of problems. As the pressure goes up, this O-ring is forced more under more and more stress into that bore, making the friction higher and higher and higher. When I tested the insertion force of this particular coupling, and one just like it, at 120 PSI, it takes 40 pounds of force to connect this thing for the balls to pop in here. 40 pounds. A competitor's model that I bought from Menards, it's called a Master Force, takes 21 pounds at exactly the same pressure which is about what it should be if you do the numbers. Because the main, really, on the other version of the high flow, all the uh, pressure shows up on this aperture, which is only about 0.4 diameter, versus the Milton, which is 0.5. It's got a significant difference in force. <laughs> and uh, on the Milton, it has this unfortunate consequence of generating a lot of friction, which uh, I measured to be at least eight pounds at 120 pounds per square inch. That's just from friction of this O-ring being squeezed into the bore and causing a lot of drag. This is just really, really not acceptable to me. Very, very poor design. And not to mention the fact that the poppet can shift off center causing it to leak. Worse yet, pop completely out and then get stuck in the open position just blasting air out so you have to resort to closing off the main supply valve. That's already happened to me three times. So let me say it again. This this thing is a really, really poor design. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs>